Construction crews breaking ground in Miami to reconnect the Port of Miami to Florida East Coast Railway. 7th Renee Marsh is live at the scene of the ceremony to tell us how this will all be a big boost to our economy. Renee? Yeah, they say this will mean big bucks and lots of jobs as far as it goes for the state. What this project consists of is getting rid of this existing railroad track and building a new one. And in doing that, it will allow them to ship goods from the port of Miami to essentially anywhere in the nation. Three, two, one. A nearly $50 million rail construction project breaks ground Friday morning. For the first time, freight trains along the Florida East Coast Railway System will connect the Port of Miami to the rest of the nation. This is a big day because we are preparing for the big ships that will come all the way from Asia will be able to come through the expanded Panama Canal. That's going to mean a lot of new uh, jobs in the area. Senator Bill Nelson, U.S. Department of Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood, City of Miami Mayor Tomas Regalado, and Miami-Dade County Mayor Carlos Jimenez all on hand for the groundbreaking. New rail tracks being constructed to carry goods from Miami to Jacksonville. Once in Jacksonville, the goods will be distributed to the rest of the nation. All right, and back out here live where that ground breaking just happened, uh, we're told that they expect more than 800 jobs to be created as a result of this project. Now, this new railway that they will be building, they say will allow the freight trains to travel up to 30 miles per hour compared to the current one that is there now, which would only allow a freight train to travel, get this, some five miles per hour. We are live in Miami. Renee Marsh, 7 News.